hello, everybody. I am your androgynous AI game show host from the future, Caster. And this is the Neon Caster Twitch channel. Good afternoon, everybody, and good morning uh, to those of you who are catching up with us really early in the US. Uh, I am uh, very sorry to go and do something so early for y'all, but I am so glad y'all could make it. Thank you so much for joining us. And indeed, we have a very special guest on air with us today. Please, everybody, give a warm welcome and a round of applause for the one and only Hashit Brown. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, I've been I've been looking forward to doing this for for a while since we uh, uh, both entered into uh, the the illustrious competition of Fluffy Barrage. Uh, but before we go and talk about all of that, how about you go and tell everybody about yourself for those who do not know you, the stuff you do, where we can find you. Oh, Hasher is muted. Hold on, that's not true. Hmm. That's fine. We'll do it this way. Hi. There we go. You can reintroduce yourself now. People can definitely hear you. Oh, are we good? Are we yeah, good yeah, now? yeah, yeah. We're, we're going, we're going old school <laughs> with this. It's fine. All right. Well, I, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, it's uh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a delight. It's a delight to have y'all. Um, and yes, please, please do tell everybody uh, about yourself and where we can find you now that we've got the intro going. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my name's Hasher, and uh, I do um, a lot of uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh content over on my channel. Um, starting to do uh, a, a bit more Pokemon, getting back into it. I used to do a lot of Nuzlocking, mm. um, but ever since Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel came out, that's kind of like consumed my life. Mm -hmm. at least a little bit <laughs> so um but uh yeah big fan of pokemon we had a ton of fun at uh, the fluffy barrage mm -hmm. um, i mean i was able to come out on top so you know yeah no, congratulations good. on your victoire uh very thank impressive <laughs> way, oh uh, and thank you for the follow fun thunderous blitz i forgot how loud that alert is in my ears there we go <laughs> um so uh, you said that like uh you go master duel has kind of taken up a big chunk of, of your kind of streaming space so was kind of um Yu -Gi -Oh your uh your your main kind of card gaming passion i'm also enthusiastic about various tcgs and stuff like that um so it was uh, pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh your kind of like og interest even outside of streaming yeah uh i would probably say that um i mean i, I think it's just always been pokemon like I, I, out of anything that i just have that i can just come back to at any point it's always pokemon Mm -hmm. um, and I did actually, I played the Pokemon TCG uh, competitively for quite a few years. Oh, wow. So, nice. In what kind of era were you were you playing? Was it kind of like uh, with all of the VMAXs or the EXs? What, what kind of era were you working with in the Pokemon um, TCG? So I, I played from sort of like the middle of black and white mm -hmm. uh, all the way up to... The middle of like the sword and shield era and mm, uh gotcha then um you know something came up in 2020 uh that huh. caused us all to have to stay home for a little bit goodness so. i i would have no idea of <laughs> what that might be mm -hmm. <laughs> and switch to streaming and stuff from that so you so you picked up Yu Gi Oh more recently um well i've, I've always been a fan of Yu Gi Oh mm. as well um but uh, I, I haven't like gone hard on it until really like Master Duel came out. I mean, Duel Links was out before that, mm. but that was more like a like a mobile gamey. Um, was like a, a kind of harder to get into. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. but Master Duel, like it's all like laid out for you. You can kind of do what you want in that game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I one of the things I've kind of noticed, and you might have felt this as well as somebody who enjoys like TCGs, is that there's definitely a. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to witness the professor from Scarlet and Violet fight it out in Glow. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I mean, you know, uh, everybody everybody considers the professors in uh, in Scarlet and Violet incredibly hot, so we take those. I am uh, I am I am happy to be compared. Uh, to the barrel-chested Professor Turo. Um, but yes, setting that aside, um, 
the in one of the things I've really liked about kind of like trading card games is the way to kind of express yourself or your personality creatively in that and then go head to head with other people's forms of self-expression. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, when I was watching like the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh anime back in the day, just the idea of kind of like, hi, I'm Mako the fish guy. I dress about fish, I think about fish, and my deck is also entirely filled with that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I, th this is a man who knows what he likes. <laughs> that, that definitely comes through. And I, I think uh, both uh, Pokemon kind of does have that as well especially with the kind of a uh, uh, fluffy barrage format where we were picking pokemon specifically that related to our character designs you know yeah that was a lot of fun and everyone's team really fit them which mm -hmm. was so cool yeah yeah yeah. no i mean uh, uh your yours yours more than anyone's i was kind of like oh, I, I know that hash can't just have a team of entirely fossils because that would be <laughs> mechanically a problem but i think you start styled that out it has the vibe of that without doing that specifically which is really clever <laughs> yeah I, I i pushed really hard in the team building process i was just like i, I just want dinos is there is mm -hmm. there any way that we can make like a just dino team work and it took a little bit, but yeah, we got there in the end. Nice. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I also had similar things in my kind of like team building being kind of like, well, I want all the characters that look like Mega Man characters, right? Need to have a <laughs> Bishop in there. I need to go and have a Gallade in there. And they were just not pulling weight or vibing with what the team was supposed to do. So they would make those compromises. But in the end, in the end, the theming, I think, does really, really come through. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what it was like uh getting coached i guess because that was one of the things i found really interesting uh, about fluffy barrage as an event was uh, i didn't have any competitive experience really of any game like i would go and do like game days of magic the gathering at my friendly local game store but i'd never really entered like proper tournaments with weights right so I, I felt really unprepared but then the aim of fluffy barrage is to get people who aren't necessarily uh, super keyed into the tournament scene uh, to take their first steps and feel empowered to do so. And I definitely did. I was actually really excited about how confident I felt going in uh, for as much of a good that did in my ranking. But still, uh, <laughs> yeah, what was what was the, the kind of like a training slash coaching experience like for you? Mm, um, so, I mean, I, I've never really... Uh, done like any sort of competitive battling mm -hmm. um, like you say uh, like I've I've played a, um, my fair share of Nuzlocke's and mm -hmm. I've made teams for like the battle tower in some of the games and stuff but other than that um, that was the kind of extent so it was kind of like a like a crash course in understanding like how to win mm. in, in VGC mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and uh, uh we only had uh the one like training session um with uh uh with uh maroon and uh wafo ah you uh, got to duel against wafo huh yeah yeah it, it was it was good they they threw basically every team that they had saved at me so that we had mm, just mm -hmm. a, <laughs> a really wide variety of like teams to test against yeah um it was almost uh, kind of puzzle solving actually it was quite interesting yeah mm. that that was really that was that was a fun part about it um but i i also I took a, a couple of like solo sessions where i went mm -hmm. on to pokemon showdown um Ooh. but there wasn't like a there's not like a perfect format to test mm -hmm. for a mm -hmm. fluffy barrage on there because um out of the doubles formats that you can play um i think there's only one of them that actually lets you use dynamax uh, mm -hmm. but also so that also lets you uh, have legendaries and ultra beasts yeah, so you're yeah. just going up against sword dog all day every day yeah i was going <laughs> up against uh the, yeah sword dog and like kyogre and, mm -hmm. and lunala and stuff and i was just like geez well this isn't exactly the kind of testing uh that's gonna benefit me probably but at least i'm getting a feel for using mm. dynamax at mm -hmm, least mm -hmm. the timing around it and stuff like that yeah 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 mm -hmm. um i uh mostly did duels against uh mr gooseberry 
uh, who I'd met previously, actually. So it was really cool to be like, oh, it's somebody who I already know. Um, but it was really interesting about his like philosophy for team building because uh, he kind of came in with um, Luna's team from the previous season, which had like the Indeedee and Hatterene. Oh, yeah, and uh, the big um, Rune Regis, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the I things that, that, I, I, that got demonstrated to me, uh, and it was very much a kind of like, hey, this is a knowledge check, um, was the kind of like putting down Psychic Durain, uh, both of them just clicking Expanding Force and deleting my entire team in two turns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and oh, when you scary. know it can do that you're like okay and i can prepare against this now but the first time it happened and i got my spot blown up i was like wow gosh and uh, i mean you know uh Yu-Gi-Oh definitely has that energy against certain matchups if you don't know what's coming losing turn two is a definite solid possibility i can see those parallels that kind of manifested in those two. yeah kind of true actually yeah <laughs> mariel in the chat being like indeedy love yes I, i've gr i've grown I've grown to like them actually. Um, I uh, I was like, because I, I quite like the Butler version, and I was like, why does everybody use the Maid version? Is it an anime thing? And then I looked up uh, on on like you know Bulbapedia or whatever. It seems Indeedy Female is the only one that can learn Follow Me, which is yeah, why so that's the one that's used. Thing, yeah, you know? it's a move pull thing. Interesting. Um, there was also a question from Serona. Uh, now that Hasher is the champ, are they going to wear a badge or something to show off? <laughs> um that's a good question i mean i think um the the other champions get a uh like a different png yeah you get a champion back. outfit for the yeah. next season when you return you get to be resplendent which is gonna be cool mm -hmm. i uh I'm, I'm wondering uh what uh we're gonna do now because they they did say that you know this is the, the fourth season, so now we have four champions, which means an Elite Four is now possible. So. An Elite Four is now possible. <laughs> <laughs> but Although... we were talking, yeah, we were yeah, talking uh, about, like, if we were to go, like, type locked, um, mm -hmm. uh, what we would choose. And uh, <laughs> I think between the four of us... Um, we have the four worst types yeah, in rock, the game. Yeah, Rock, Bug, and what are the other two? Rock, would be Bug, going? Ice, and Ground, I think? Mmm, mmm. Yeah, not not necessarily. I mean, Ice is a very good offensive typing, but yeah. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> I, I might stand a bit of a chance if you go for monotype teams. Um, I'd be really torn about uh about what kind of t what type i would go for you know i'm an ai so electric ghost is is my vibe right it's why rotom's mm. my favorite but i don't know if i could choose easily between the two i i guess electric maybe slightly more but uh there are so so many of them that get horrendously punished by earthquake i don't think it would be a very sensible thing to do in doubles <laughs> <laughs> I have to... well i mean there is uh there's terrestrialization now that's um, true that you is can very make true. one of them a flying type or something mm. And uh, you've always got Rotom. That yeah, isn't affected uh, by Earthquake. That's true. Uh, one of the one of the previous kind of um, incarnations of my team. Actually, we're gonna. Uh, uh, Oz says that they that they're a fairy fairy man. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Fairy is definitely my third favorite type. Hate to interrupt. Uh, do you start playing Sword and Shield? Yes, that is correct, Thunderous Bills. Uh, the fluffy barrage format was done in Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, with the because you know it's a, a, a tournament series that existed prior to Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we will be getting to them duels, but you know I like I like yeah. to go and talk to the person I'm interviewing first. Get get the crowd warmed up, hungry, hungry for some battling. Um, but yeah, to, to to kind of talk about our teams a little bit. Uh, would use Mega Ampharos. Yeah, yeah. I guess of the Mega type, Megas were never really, were never really a format that I super liked. I, I think Dynamax has been my favorite so far, but just because I haven't spent enough time with terrestrialization to get a feel for it. Although the hats are very pretty. Um, <laughs> Mega Toxtricity looks so cool. <laughs> so they've been my favorite uh, for, for, for a fair bit. But yeah, let's go, let's go look at the teams. Uh, Caster, Caster the other day, Dragon Suck, Caster today. Yeah, no, 
I'm not a, not a dragon type user. Definitely not my energy. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry to the to the dragon lovers in chat, whoever you may be. Um, but they they are great, but not for me. Uh, thank you for the follow, Lemon Yu Gear. Uh, very good name. Uh, but yeah, let's go and let's go and take a let's go and take a glance at our teams. Um, let's. Yeah, we ha we have your team up first. Uh, a lot of the people who are tuning in today are probably familiar with how the team works mechanically, but uh, I I don't think a lot of people because we didn't get the chance to really talk through team stuff on air most of the times we were on screen we were like True. muted and battling for our lives uh so this gives you the opportunity to go and talk about like uh why did you pick the ones you picked what nicknames did you give them and things like that <laughs> i mean so why did i pick the ones that i picked because they're all dinosaurs <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yeah. that's basically it we're gonna <laughs> pretend that torkoal is a dinosaur it counts as uh, i'm sure there's like an ancient tortoise that exists yeah surely yeah i i'll, I'll just cut out some um back plates out of cardboard and make it look like a stegosaurus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it'll be fine it might burn <laughs> up on the coal inside but it's fine don't worry it's yeah. fine. <laughs> um but yeah uh the, this this team kind of went through uh, a, a few iterations, mm -hmm. um, but um, it's got like some some good like synergies. Mm. Obviously, ob there's like the obvious synergy between Venusaur and Torkoal, setting up the drought and then going uh, with the boosted speed from mm. Chlorophyll, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then same deal basically with. Uh, Tyranitar setting up Sandstream and then Draco's ult going in with Sandrush with the boosted speed. Yeah, um, the, the weather team set up here is very cool. I uh, It reminded me a lot of uh, Raihan's team in uh, in Sword and Shield, who was dragon yeah. but also pretty dinosaur energy, right? So it's like, oh, I see the parallel here. This works. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually almost used a, a Duraludon as mm -hmm. well. Um, but, uh, like Lemon says in the chat, um, yeah, this team has a, a pretty big weakness to fighting type, um, mm. which was like, like one fear fighting type move. <laughs> and, uh, that w we could see that, um, in the tournament mm -hmm. against, uh, Cabal and his Sir Fetched. Uh, I, I really had to kind of play around that so that it wouldn't wreak havoc on my team. Mm, 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 mm. No, definitely. It's uh, <laughs> it, it's one of it was definitely one of those things in terms of like, oh yeah, building. Oh yes, my favorite dinosaur, the shard building from London. I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, you know they managed to work in little Britishisms in all sorts of ways across the Pokemon of uh, Gen Eight. Um, yeah, they're the kind of like a reworking team. So it's like, okay, so I, I'm not going to have my entire spot just fall to a single move. Good. <laughs> um, but you gave these all uh, pretty... I mean, we don't see the nicknames here. We'll definitely be seeing them when we get into battles. But give me give me like two or three of your favorite nicknames across your set. Um, well, when, when I started, uh, <laughs> I, I just wanted to give them all like... Um, names of breeds of chicken mm. because of the whole you know dinosaurs evolved and became chickens in the modern day kind mm -hmm, of thing mm -hmm. um uh so i i got as far as two of them getting chicken names and yes. then i i couldn't really find any other chicken breeds that made a lot of sense to mm -hmm. use as nicknames that didn't sound super good so uh, Aurorus is called Silky, mm -hmm. and uh, Lapras is called Marsh Daisy, which I think both kind of fit, mm -hmm. um, especially because uh, my Aurorus is shiny, so it's uh, the pretty white one. Yeah, it was very, very kind of the, uh, the the Fluffy Barrage team to actually put in the hours to go and grind out those shinies, because I do not have <laughs> the patience for that. Uh, Maswoon giving me the shiny Zarina, uh, super kind of them. I love her dearly. She's a queen. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, speaking of uh, moving on to, to my team real brief um, yeah it was uh, definitely trying to find because I, I really like I, I have a soft spot for in the kind of like electric types and ghost types thing uh, across any game so even in stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh if I have a really hardcore themed team of like ghosts or robots 
uh, or robot ghosts, if those are even a thing. I guess that's Alter Geist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I tried making a deck of that and it was very complicated and I didn't understand it. But um, uh, this team was that kind of like space. So we knew that we needed to get in your boy Porygon Z. Uh, we knew that we needed to get the 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 best ghost Rotom, uh, although uh, regular Rotom, the the electric ghost one, is actually unfortunately one of the weaker variants therein. But Rotom Heat looks like a funny little TV, so you know it counts. It's it's fine. I love theming. Rotom Heat. I love the fact that it has little oven mitts. And yes, it's like electric it's so cute. plasma <laughs> mitt. <laughs> um, and I ended up uh, naming my team after genres of music that I really liked, uh, with the exception of Excadrill. So it was kind of like thinking of the different uh, themes that matched up really nice. Like, of course, Porygon Z would be Webcore, uh, Sigilith for its like ridiculous speed control and the amount of like maths that I have to do to realize whether I outspeed or something or not is now called Math Rock. Um, Zarina was initially going to be called Jungle because I wanted to yell Junglist Massive every time I die in the Max Tur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, no, no, I don't really listen to Jungle that much. That's dishonest. And Hyper Pop definitely works with the color scheme. Um, but Excadrill uh, being called Clawpunk, uh, it, was, uh, it is the reincarnation of one of the three Pokemon that survived my uh, black and white um soul link nuzlocke with my with my bestie ref the owl um that was hard <laughs> it was such a hard hard run we took four attempts at it and beat it on the fourth attempt just oh, wow. barely gets this is no joke um like the most of the elite four was like fine and then gets this just murdered most of our team it was pretty <laughs> bad uh but excadrill was one of the few that survived um as a character design I, I i've talked about this before i'm not a huge fan of what i would call lumpy shaped pokemon you know they're, they're they're just a bit too spiky for me i'm mm. uh, uh and that's you know we respect the design sash slash looks cool just not for me uh and excadrill kind of like fits within that category but having gone through the ordeal of surviving a nuzlocke which is the point right you name them so you get super attached and all that so yeah, i was like exactly. oh yeah no we have to have a, a spiritual successor um the naming of the Pokemon in that Nuzlocke was kind of me and Rafi counting down three, two, one, and then giving half of a nickname and then combining them together, uh, which is why the name was kind of unusual. Uh, but we had uh, a wide variety of names. We had like uh, Vault Steve, the uh, Zeb Striker. Uh, we had Cyber Power, all caps, the Emolga. And uh, unfortunately, we weren't allowed to use legendary Pokemon uh for for this uh, fluffy barrage otherwise you would have uh, encountered dilf hero the cabalion um <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one mm. uh, the, I, I i chose the hero part just fyi to make that clear uh, but uh yeah yeah no uh the the nicknaming of the teams is definitely definitely one of the things i really really enjoyed uh, about part of that um what was uh mario's uh waylord being big friend yeah, Everybody was very friend. enamored with the big friend. Um, big friend, my biggest enemy. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Serena says, so did you have to farm for a shiny with the right nature and ability? Uh, so uh, that's a, we'll, we'll, we'll mention that. Uh, uh, bre like breeding setups in Sword and Shield is actually really easy. <laughs> um, they, they give you items that let you change the nature of a Pokemon, and if you level up something to level 100, you can uh, give it an item to make all of its IVs maximum. So uh, it was mostly uh, a process of just being able to breed a shiny anything and then getting all the natures and stats that it needed along the way, which is very kind of them. Uh, I hope it's that easy in um, Scarlet and Violet, actually. I did hear that the kind of like super training thing um, can now be done at level 50 in Scarlet and Violet, since VGC is at 50. So oh, yeah? Yeah. That does make sense, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that the process of trying to do that is is a lot easier, especially since uh, I remember you mentioning that after your after your sweeping victory of Fluffy Barrage, you were interested in uh, VGC for real reels. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... I... I kind of got a little bit carried away, um, and there there was a uh, a VGC regional that uh, opened up signups like the the week after 
um fluffy barrage and i was just like you know what i'm gonna sign up to that mm. um so I'm, I'm gonna be a part of that in in january mm -hmm. uh, but i still haven't finished the story of my violet version so haven't had a single game of practice yet oh i see well i mean yeah no we, we're, we're gonna we'll we'll make our way there as we go um i i'm i'm, I'm definitely interested in making an attempt uh, I, as I've said before, I'm a, I'm a storyteller, not a competitive space person. I just happen to like a lot of competitive games, right? But the the process of the process of getting better at those kind of like seriously taking competitive games, where you have to lose a ton before you start winning. I don't know if my soul can take that, but also, <laughs> I mean, you know, if there's a whole bunch of other people and new friends that I have made uh who are also trying to do the same journey so we can kind of support each other on that that makes that feel less scary to me rather than rocking up to a spot where you know nobody and they all look at you like you've walked into a saloon in the meanest desert town in the wild west <laughs> uh, well i think everyone's kind of in the same boat at the minute mm. i mean there, there's there's definitely a, a few people that are ahead of the pack mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. especially given the fact that Neither of us are finished with the actual story mode yet, but mm. yeah, <laughs> I, no. I think it's still early enough in the game where uh, we we could basically just show up a little late to the party and mm -hmm. and you know yeah make our way out. make our way yeah. for sure for sure. Well, that's all the interview questions I have now. We've gone through our teams. We've talked about our previous and the events. So uh, how about <clears throat> uh, since? Uh, you have uh, this illustrious, con illustrious contestant Hasher has made the way onto the Neon Caster show, uh, representing the past, which honestly I feel is horrendously inappropriate. We're all about the future on this channel, baby. So uh, I guess we need to show you the march of progress. You may be the champion, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, my parallel processing has uh, run the numbers and figured out a way to defeat you. Oh, okay. We'll see if uh, this alternate timeline would have had a different outcome. Oh, yes. <laughs> Making our way through. Using the transitions from Fluffy oh, Barrage. That's so cool. Thanks, Wafo, for letting me borrow those. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll just do the just do the setup. I don't have uh, the kind of like, oh, who's KO'd who and those kind of bits and pieces. Unfortunately, I don't have those fancy bits and pieces set up. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, my participating team. I mean, I guess you'll be able to see the team that I select. So look away. Don't, don't look. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no hanging out in Freezington. I really like the music in Freezington, so I wanted to go and set myself up there. Uh, what do I want to listen to first? I mean, uh, Clara's theme is one of my favorites, so I think we're going to go for that first. I really missed out on not having the DLC. Mm, it's good. I, I, like, I was initially kind of like, I enjoyed my time through sword and shields main story but doing the dlc raised it to like my third favorite pokemon gen in total and that's you know uh, that, that, that that overlaps uh, uh, that beats a, a ton of different things so i was like ah oh, no game's good right selecting teams this one for sure uh-huh and then we have to think Hmm. Let's try this first. I don't know about you, but I'm actually surprisingly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, my team's been selected. What do you mean, actually? No, 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 no. Of course, I'm not nervous. I was never programmed to be nervous. Our trainer cards. Good art. <laughs> the scared face is very good. <laughs> and of course, you'll be running scared from my team. Ooh. Marsh we'll Daisy see. and Silky enter the fray. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. Mmm. A radiant pair. Very elegant. Hmm. Oh, Trip Hop is being called for. Do we know if that's in the lineup? We'll see. Oh, no, Trip Hop is, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. The TBH, I really like the fossils in Gen 8 being how the museums would constantly mess up dinosaur reconstructions. Yes! I, I, I love how, how, uh, terrifyingly messed up the, the Gen 8 fossils are. Uh, <laughs> Drake Assault, definitely my favorite, though. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Starting with the Dynamax, are we? Time to get dino sized. Mmm. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fake out. Okay. Marsh Daisy can take a lot of punishment. Mmm. Into... Especially now with this setup too. Ooh, barely we live in, but I think hail kick. No, it's just a raw avail. That's right. Big tanky, physical and special moves. switch oh, oh that's yes. so tricky i'm a, a being a game show host i have to make sure you know the rules luckily this will still hit through the protect ah oh. i'm glad that people are so excited about uh Goodbye, friend. Oh, time to go. <laughs> ah, useful. Clearing up the rain a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm, let's see here. Claw punk. Oh, yes. The one and only. I do enjoy the fact that Clawpunk sounds like it would be some sort of music Plausible genre. Plausible music genre, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. We're making some risky plays here, but we've got to do Ooh, it. That is bold. All right. Be bold, be wild, be groovy. Oh. I'm going for, well, Torkoal is pretty slow. Torkoal is very slow. <laughs> to I be honest, like... I should have probably hit Torkoal there. That was a bad idea. Uh... <laughs> I think it's something like 30 base speed or mm. that. maybe even less. We took that. But do you take this? Heatwave is split. <gasps> oh. Heatwave is split targeting. Clutch. And you have activated my weakness policy! That is pretty strong. Let's see how we do. 
I'm a Pokemon down and uh, I've got people at really low health, but we'll see what we can manage. Mmm. I'm sorry, Silky. <laughs> it needed to happen. It needed to happen. You want to you want to get that additional weather effects in. Mm hmm. Now is Zarina faster than Lapras? Looks like yes. Okay. Ow. Alright, here's the Big Mac! Final. It's Big Mac! The shot and the chaser. Cleaning up the field, but that uh, activates the uh, chlorophyll on, uh, on, um, on uh, Venusaur. I see, I see. Very smart. Um, Guard. Okay. Mm, and because you are not a uh, Dynamaxed, it wouldn't go through. Oh, with the eruption. Hey, Noka. Noka. Mm. Hi. My back is against the wall here, but I'm not done yet. Down to size. We're back down to size. Oh. <laughs> oh. God. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh. You tried for it. Okay, I, I was I wondering. It. I was wondering if it counted. I was wondering I whether it whether it counted the the max guard versus regular protect. It does. Today I learned. Um, I wouldn't have outsped you anyway, as it happens. But uh... ooh, triple axle. Mm -hmm. That's such a cool move. Unfortunately, well, no, I outspeed you, but you get another option, and I die. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! Wow. Close one. Very close, very close. Ah. Well, maybe, maybe I'm feeling a bit nostalgic since we're, we're looking in the past here, but it's not over yet. We do have one more. At the minimum, one more. Maybe I'll be able mm -hmm. to claw the second round back. I would love to keep playing with the same rules, darling. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered bringing the whole chair. I'm only using the edge. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you have any preferences of jams for this second round? Um, I'm always partial to Marnie 2. Ooh. Yes, the the um, Champions League version. Mm hmm. Mm, okay, okay. Let's try this. There we go. Run it back, run it Let's back. Go. Mm. 
<gasps> it's no trousers. Yeah. yeah. I love trousers. But yeah, I, I just noticed we're actually wearing the same jacket mm -hmm. on our characters, just a different color. <laughs> the leather jacket is very good. All right, let's see how fast man's is. There's something really funny about coming out of an intense match here, the chill vibes of freezing to it, and then going back into electric guitar. Live? Damn! Oh! <sighs> Shoot. This already makes my life pretty difficult, I think, but, uh... In the single does. target. Oh my, wow. Yeah, no, with no uh, separate thing, the damage isn't split, so, uh... Yeah, I am already heavily on the back foot, but, uh... You do have the Tailwind, though. I do have the Tailwind. Okay. We'll see how we do, but uh, uh, this is already looking pretty bad. Both teams dead on turn one is uh, usually a game ender, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, reversal still possible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It could be anyone's game. <laughs> uh, sometimes that feels really bad when they're like, it can be anyone's game. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, covers. Mm hmm. We've got a little bit of additional tankiness from the special defense raise on the max move. Come on. All right. We're just oh, down wow, to 2 okay. on 2 let's go! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mm. Same again. Into the Big Mac. Now. Okay. Alright, I understand what you got. Uh, let's see here. Oh! Hopefully. Hopefully. Gosh. Do I understand game mechanics? 101. <laughs> We're getting the biggest Mac. To be honest, the way that the the um, leap petals flop over remind me like the top of a burger bun, so it works really <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're not wrong, yeah. Now, who go first? Who go first? Tailwind, please. Yes! Oh! And because yeah, it's rockfall, it will kick in Sandstorm, turning off your chlorophyll. True. And you can't switch Torkoal out to reset it, either. Chase is gonna chow down a little bit. Triple Axel. Mm -hmm. The three hitter. Big damage. Speaking of big, it's time the for Vine Big Lash. Mac. Gigantic jungle slam! Mmm. Big damage doesn't proc my weakness policy. This does though. Hold on, will this kill? Ah, with the special defense increase! Yes! <laughs> hmm. The Vine Lash's ferocious beating. 
Um, what we're gonna do here? Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm fair. Making like a Torkoal and turtling up. Hmm. Unfortunately, I had a feeling you might do it that way round. Uh huh. <gasps> Still goes down. With the oh. weakness policy proc, my damage is very high. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Unfortunately, I think the Vine Lash beating might be uh, enough to go and KO Excadrill anyway. Ow. Vine Lash, and we're out. But I do think I still have the speed advantage here, so... Oh, it petered out. Neither of us have a speed boost now. Mm. It's down just, to this. Just raw, just raw, just raw numbers at this point. <gasps> oh, no way. No. Big mech GG. and big speed. Wow. GG. Two really close ones. GG. Ah, oh. oh, I am, uh, I mean... I went up against the champ and I still couldn't do it. Still couldn't do it. But those matches those were really, two good. really good games. Really though. good games, though. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, as I say, I am not. I am not necessarily cut out for battling. I am a commentator and the storyteller at heart. But those matches were phenomenal. Thank you. They really were. Thank you so yeah. much. I mean, <laughs> you clearly knew what you were doing, though. Oh yes. I uh I think I think that was the thing uh that I've really enjoyed about about these matches. We can we can go swoosh over back to our little chat space. As the garage stamps appear. There we go, we're back. Hi. Um yeah, one of the things that I found really, really cool about uh competitive Pokemon and I think TCG stuff specifically is that I, I think I have a head for knowledge check stuff. Um I was very proud of the kind of like wait. I can do speed control by turning off your weather. Let's go. <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, yeah. I'm glad that we've managed to understand the the game mechanics in the way that we can like work those through in the um in the like uh, test matches that I was doing both with uh, the Fluffy Barrage team and my friend uh, Rafu. Uh, I was sent up against the Moongus in that in the in the kind of uh, testing phase, yes. right? And was like, I know this thing is Spore. There is no reason for anybody to use uh, this thing aside from Spore. Wait, I can Dynamax Porygon Z, use Max Lightning Strike, and then make Electric Terrain. That means that nothing can fall asleep. Oh, that's so smart. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, okay, we're in. I, 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 I when you, when, when the kind of like, oh, I, I understand how all the systems link up now. I can see the matrix. Ah, I understand why people get really uh, hype about the kind of competitive play when you get to make those kind of moves, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually had that written down as one of my notes is because uh, um, my Lapras has Thunderbolt, which can become mm. the lightning strike which sets the terrain. Mm -hmm. And so one of my big notes was, uh, if you've done this, do not click sleep powder with Venusaur because mm -hmm. it will not work. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> accidentally turning your own strats off is uh, <laughs> <definitely> <laughs> something that you can run into for sure, for sure. Oh gosh. So yeah, no, this has been, this has been fantastic. And uh, thank you everybody so much for uh, uh, coming in to go and watch our, uh, our, our duels. Uh, you may have defeated me this time, but I am sure there will be another instance, maybe in a new era, in a new country, uh, for us for us to meet and do battle once again. And maybe, maybe I will I will I will be coming at you a little harder. Mostly because a lot of the new Pokemon that I like in uh, Scarlet and Violet are actually just super good. Armourouge is terrifyingly good. <laughs> 
I had a feeling. I had a feeling you'd like that one. It mm -hmm. is probably the most Mega Man looking Pokemon <laughs> ever. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Goodness me. Are there, is there any of, of the new Pokemon that you're like, oh, now this needs to go on my team of six. It is oh, It is yeah. my new child. Oh, oh yeah. I, uh, I, I did randomly find a um a new dino looking guy mm. um uh, I, I i don't know if you uh if you oh, want to keep I, I'm, I'm okay i'm okay or... for pokemon spoilers it's plot spoilers for me that i'm trying All to right, avoid yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so I, I was just you know traversing like the ice area and mm -hmm. uh happened across a little ice dino guy with uh what seems to be like a, a big like sword coming out of its back like a mm. sail on a spinosaurus and I was like, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's just decided. He he has got to be on my team. I have heard I've heard things about about the the final version of that that Evo. Um, it has one of the strongest, I think, ice attacks in the game. With the disadvantage being next turn you take double damage, but protect exists so oh yeah it, it, <laughs> no it, downside it, it's a dragon attack oh it's a dragon attack, right, yeah. right 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 yeah, yeah. but Which uh is uh, arguably like still pretty good that's still very good that's gonna yeah. be super scary so okay I, I look forward to uh i don't look forward into running into that next time but i will i will, I will know for the future that that might be a threat <laughs> that i have to look out for um before we vanish off and enjoy the rest of our our sundays is there anything you want to chat to the uh to the the people out there about anything you want to promote any upcoming projects you want to share um let's see uh i mean you're live later today right i am live later today um i'm running a, a community uh master duel tournament mm. um, with a, a kind of a, a spicy rule set um Ooh. basically uh, people are forced into picking either fusion synchro or xyz mm -hmm. and making a deck that uh, is exclusively that mm -hmm. and uh yeah we're gonna have a, a little tournament about that uh also doing a um a live opening of some booster packs before that um so you'll get to see my hands and everything <gasps> hand um, stream <laughs> i know it's crazy right uh, all, um, all the kind of like uh camera streams i just have my operator do it not me we're different people clearly my operator and me <laughs> are entirely separate entities but uh, <laughs> uh he handles all the kind of hand cam stuff so i don't have to i don't have a leap motion tracker hmm <laughs> Okay, Ooh. yeah, no, everybody, that's at uh, 8 p.m. our time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, I think it's a, a little bit before that today, actually. Oh, give an um, Let me double check, actually, <laughs> so, so I definitely get this right. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be six hour time. Ooh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I will definitely let you get some, some time to align your chakras and get ready. Uh, for for your your duels, I'll be I'll be sure to tune in to a little bit of that as well. I'll need to duel you at Yu-Gi-Oh again. We've we've I've kind of uh, uh, appeared uh, like joined in on your kind of like dueling the viewer streams, and I have lost not necessarily badly. I think I gave you a bit of a run for your money with at least yeah, one of those. Uh, but I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the lab and learning some some Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, seeing if I can find a deck that speaks to my sensibilities. Uh, and then can also uh, give a good butt whooping. I would actually love to do uh, the like a uh, because you had a tournament relatively recently for not necessarily VTubers. There was an arrangement of people involved, but uh, having that kind of building a deck that reflects your VTuber uh, personality and going toe to toe. I think there'd be I think there'd be a lot of people that would be interested. Interested. Yeah, in that'd that would be really fun. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Uh, shall we? We 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 have a, a solid number for me at least. People watching today. Uh, shall we? Who, who shall we pass on to you today? Are there any any of your any of your friends any of your fam out there streaming? You'd like me to go and pass on to you, Masha? Um. Let's see. Uh, and thank you for the uh, follow, Rosebud1992. Welcome, welcome, my, welcome. My follow list is pretty short at the moment. I think because it's Sunday and it's still quite early. Yeah, and, uh, people, people are chilling. Mm, mm, mm. In that um, case, yeah, that's okay. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, because uh, I, in a, I'm in a very similar space. Everybody be sleeping. Um, <laughs> so in that case, let's just let everybody have a a peaceful time. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you go and get a big Sunday roast lunch, uh, and uh, we will see you all. 
next time. Farewell, everybody. See you all soon. See you later. <laughs>